Amadil Kumar sharing with you test questions on vectors equation of lines. This question is question number three in this test paper. Let us discuss how to solve such a question. The question is given a line with Cartesian equation 3x plus 4y minus 24 equals to 0 find parametric equation of the line. So we are given the line 3x plus 4y minus 24 equals to 0 and we need to find parametric equation of the line. How are you going to do it? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well one way is that we can find x and y intercepts and then the direction vector, right? So the other way, well, let's do, let's find x and y intercepts. Okay, so first let's intercept. So when we talk about x intercept, in that case y equals to 0. So if I substitute y equals to 0, I get 3x minus 24 equals to 0. And that gives me x as equals to 24 divided by 3, which is 8, right? Now we can also find the y intercept. So y intercept is a point where x is equal to 0. If I substitute x 0 here, I get 4y minus 24 equals to 0. Or we get y equals to 24 divided by 4, which is 6. So we get the y intercept. Now once you get x and y intercepts, you can find the direction. Right, so now now we can find the direction. For example, right, so we know two points. We can find the direction. So so from these, which is we know the two points. Let us say these points are A and B. Uh, we're calling this point A as eight and zero, and we are calling this point B as uh, zero and six. Correct. So the direction. Uh, let's call this direction M as a b right so a b direction correct which basically means uh, a to b is 0 minus 8 for x and 6 minus 0 6 minus 0 or which is same as uh, minus 8 6 and you could actually factor out 2 right so you can factor out minus 2 for example and you get uh, 4 minus 3 as your direction. So that way you get your direction. Once you have direction and a point, you could actually find the parametric equation, right? Anyway, we'll kind of stop here and we'll look into alternate method of finding this direction. So here is alternate method. Uh, especially when we are given this line in R2, we from the equation we know the normal uh, vector here is 3 and 4, right? 3 and 4. So, so a vector which is perpendicular, so which is your direction vector, we can just interchange this and change one of the signs. So 4 minus 3. Without doing all this, we can come to the direction straight away, right? So that is a preferred way. But I was just showing you steps to understand very clearly how two things can be done, right? If it is R3, this is a better method to do. You get the direction like this. I hope that makes it better, right? For R3, this is a preferred method. For R2, you can kind of jump into this conclusion and then do the needful, correct? Well, we need parametric equation. We can start with this point let me first give you a vector equation and then we'll write parametric equation. Okay, let's write vector equation first. Not necessary this step, okay? So we are saying vector equation uh, for this line will be, let's say line 1, will be, let's consider the x-intercept 8, 0, right? Uh, plus t times the direction vector 4, minus 3. Now let's write down the parametric equation. As an additional question, you can find symmetric equation for the same. So from here we can say x is equals to 8 
plus 4t right and y is equals to minus 3t is it okay so that becomes the parametric equations for the given Cartesian equation correct so that is how you could find this uh, as an exercise question for you is to find symmetric equation for the same so that means you can isolate t and then work it out I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best